hello guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, this is one of the second videos that i'm making so please bear with me my name is gina Liz. you can call me gina i am a mom from dominican mom from new york city and i love everything planner journaling art stationary things all of the pretty things and it, if that is something that you like and interests you Please like and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, I would love and appreciate your support and join in a beautiful community. Because my goal is to connect with like-minded individuals, people like me who love everything about art, journaling, and planning. And today we are trying <laughs> to... Uh, if I'm not sure if you can hear the screaming in the background, but that's my daughter. I have mom of three years old so i'm in the fun stage of the of the screaming and toddler fun that's so fine stage of life so yes um i'm gonna try to decorate a few spreads of my december setup in my half letter planner bujo hybrid excuse me <coughs> sorry <coughs> Apologies for the coughing. <coughs> oh God. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm going to try. It will probably be a multiple days type of setup because I don't have that much time, sadly. I would love to sit down and do more, but this is what I'm doing for now. I like to create my own covers for the month, so I bought this clear frosted dividers from jay's agenda i'm gonna try to link them below if you're interested and with a label maker i just put the dates them or the months she also sell them um like this with um she has different dividers very beautiful but this is um sorry something stained there I was doing some spread with a red marker and it stains a little bit over there, but I still use it. My favorite are these frosted ones. Um, she also have top tap frosted ones. And this way I can create my own covers. So when I am putting away the insert for keepsake, I keep this and reuse them in my planner and this go with the keepsake planner when i'm just storing away for memories and each care book this is the winter one from last year i purchased the new ones um supposed to come in the mail soon so from that book i will create my weeklies and probably january because i purchased the winter one so i'm gonna use this one and i had the stickers left over from from last um last year when i was trying to create so what i'm gonna try to do is gonna do a bujo cover in here using this paper um i i this is a bullet journal planner hybrid meaning that that's what i have it on this i i have planner inserts this is our from jay's agenda and soon now uh, we have from the collected planner as well because i found that brand and i'm interested in them but i i have a lot of bujo spreads in between and my planner piece is this a planner bujo hybrid system because there's some spreads that i like to create on my own way and there's some spreads that i found other companies do better than i do so uh, it's a mix of the both <laughs> So I want to create a quick um, uh, cover today and if the video allows me, depending on the edited, I might split this video in multiple parts because I want to really take my time to, to create something and explain my thinking process in it if it's something that you enjoy. Um, I'm trying my best to to create um, to create a spread and explain my thinking process. 
um like i said i i enjoy drawing i know how to draw but sometimes this is a trick if i put it like this you can tell it's a sticker so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna cut the white part the best i can and try to merge that's the word um the stickers so it looks like it's created that way from scratch if you understand if you know what i mean let's see i'm used to one it's okay let me just do it here as well um like i was saying i lost my train of thought i love to draw and i know how to draw i know how to letter and i am very quick at those things but sometimes you are too busy for for that and and um and a lot of things in the bullet journal uh people get tired quickly because can be very daunting can be um sometimes you don't have the time or the energy to create a space a spread from scratch and if you are a content creator so you made the mistake of trying to please other people and try to make it perfect and all that stuff and and it's fun to do those things where you have the energy and the motivation to do that. But if you keep doing it day after, time after time, it's gonna it's gonna get to you because it's not authentic. When when you are doing doing stuff for yourself, when you paint because you enjoy it, not because you you wanna create content just to please other people, you're happy because you're doing it for yourself. But life sometimes. Uh, it asks for for you to 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 make things in a simpler way or or not so pretty sometimes or sometimes you want pretty like in my case i like pretty i am a very visual person and decorating in my planner makes me come in here and use it because it's pretty but i don't have the energy to to um to draw even though i know how to so i use stickers for that and other things to make it faster and this is why also i have this system of of a hybrid between planners and journals and, and bullet journal spreads because there are days that i don't have the energy to create it and i have spreads for that already made up for me or or sometimes i do have the energy to be extra fancy and creative and i like it so you know I'm trying what I'm trying to explain is just, um it's okay to to use stickers in your journal if you feel like it is it's okay to to, to use um printable or spreads or other things because you feel like it and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. If you like it, if it's doing the job of keeping you organized, which is the system is to keep me organized. So it should be, um, it should be fine. Uh, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if this line, I can continue it. So make it seem back. Um, it's made that way. <clears throat> So that way it looks like it's part of it, which is what I was trying to trying to do. Um, I might use this gift just to to put it like it's Christmas or something. Um, let's see.
Let's see how that goes. I don't know how to edit, so I, I don't know how this video is going to come out. <laughs> so please may, bear with me. I'm learning. It, it's part of one of my goals for next year is learning about this platform and probably make content that is useful to you guys in a certain way. So... And get to know you as well. Try to make it seem like there's snow in here. So this is my cover. So what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna letter December. I'm gonna try to get in. I was gonna use a tomboy, but. The space may not be ideal, so um, let's see if this sign pen, I think it's from Pentel, if I'm correct, um, <clears throat> works for, for me. go over one more time to make the downstroke a little bit more thicker than usual I'm not sure if I want to put something in here or just leave it like that. Um, I do have all the florals that goes with it, but I don't know. I'm not sure that's um, I'll wait a little bit to see I don't want to ruin this sometimes I do this a lot I, I, I can't I, I don't know how, where to stop when I get creative I get so many ideas and um, I don't know where to stop now I'm trying to go over the bottom part of the word to make this ombre effect and I like do the opposite way and the following word I find this um, create an effect very interesting interesting um, because there's a lot of gradients in it I'm just gonna use um, this pen I found it on Amazon it's from Sipa I think I'm trying to pronounce it correctly uh, my husband bought me eight years ago when I first uh, was introduced to the planner community and he he wanted to give me a gift and he didn't know what to get me and he was paying attention and saw that I like stationary stuff and planner stuff so he bought me this set of fine liner that he bought that he found on Amazon and and they still work they are very good quality because I've had it for years I've used them and they're still working just fine so so for me it's very good I like it 
what do you guys think um i was thinking of maybe add this one in the bottom that goes with it but i am not sure if that will make this spread a little bit um more busy and take away from the word so what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna just create this the paint is dry now i'm i am not sure if you can if picking up in the camera but i am doing strokes and make it seem like it's uh snow just the illusion of it so this is my december cover from december 2022